I can't be the only person on the planet that didn't know that you can just pick a piece of fruit off of a tree and eat it. Wait, what? What? Do you have brain rot? Well, let's find out because today we're going to be watching the consequences of TikTok's brain rot is terrifying by Halo Haley. And so with that, let's get started. I knew that technology and social media was eventually gonna run out, right? My are you stupid? No. But ever since the pandemic, we are seeing this happen at a terrifyingly rapid rate. I'm, I'm an idiot and here's why. My laundry machine takes quarters. Naturally, I'm like, where does one just get quarters? So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go on Amazon and buy quarters. You can oh no, no there is no way there no wait can you really buy quarters on amazon no buy, no, like no. rolls of quarters on amazon I'm like perfect i'll do that and it was like 72 rolls for ten dollars that the math doesn't equal up D wait please tell me you can't actually buy quarters on amazon I think these are just the papers that you can buy for the quarters. I don't think this is actual quarters. Oh god, do I have brain rot? But that's a score. Like I'm getting 17 72 rolls of quarter sleeves with quarters in them for $10. This is girl math, I think. I, I think this is a oh god. Like I'm like, okay, stupid. Amazon's losing money. No, no, honey. No, no. Get the package. Empty. It's just 72 plain quarter roll sleeves with no quarters in them. Yeah, it's, yeah that, that's what I, I thought it was. Okay. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. This hurts my brain. And we're only a minute into the video. <laughs> again firstly just the simple fact that people don't carry physical cash with them anymore is disturbing yes i also use apple pay a lot i'm not denying that but there are still notes and coins i i gotta say i love her editing right now because this seems like this seems like it belongs on like an article page or something or like a true crime kind of thumbnail like i, I dig it in my purse at all times Secondly, could you please elaborate to the class what you mean by where does one just get coins? Are you the bank? You know, banks exist, right? Right? Even aware of how your debit card works? If you don't have any physical cash, go to your local bank and use an ATM to withdraw money that you have in your account with Okay, but like nobody's going to the ATM with gloves on. Let's let's be real here. Said card so you can use that to exchange the notes for coins. Have you been on planet Earth for six hours or something? Thirdly, why was your very first instinct to go to Amazon? Because Amazon has brainwashed you into making it the shopping platform. Nobody really shops anywhere else besides Amazon nowadays. Like, I, I haven't gone on eBay or like, I don't know, whatever stores. I guess maybe Best Buy occasionally, but no, everything literally is on Amazon. And if it's not on Amazon, I mean, you just... You just kind of go to the actual store, right? If you even go outside. Do you even go outside? Why did you think that you could purchase money with your own money? And lastly, I'm sorry, but if you ever encounter this predicament and your very first thought is to run to Amazon, you deserve this. Why do I say that? Because you couldn't even use your eyes to read the description of this list. Well, that's simple to answer because nobody reads. Like, I haven't read half the stuff that she's had up on the screen here. I'm just kind of like, mm, lanes flashing, flashing, let's go. But like, for real, nobody reads anymore. Sting. It was quite obviously rolls for quarters that you were buying, but you just seen coins and was like, yep, that'll do. And the thing is, a lot of marketers know this about people, which is why they do these SEO keyword stuffing stuff in their titles because people literally just kind of glance at stuff. They'll see like the one trigger word and they'll go, oh, okay, yeah, no, this is it. So, I mean, uh, like <sighs> reading is hard, you guys. Oh my god. Huh. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, that is definitely a meme. That is no, there is no way. joke that's not real that's not real right uh, <laughs> this will come as no surprise to anybody just take one glance at my channel but i spend quite a large chunk of my time on my phone i guess you could say i'm words too uh people still play this game i thought this is something that like boomers play or maybe it's like a millennial app i don't know chronically online yet no once have I ever tried to zoom in on a picture in real life? There were people in that comment section saying that they've tried reading the comments while watching a documentary. Okay, wait. <laughs> Did you ever try reading the comments while you're watching a TV documentary? I tried to swipe on a book. <laughs> And then I'm looking for people's comments in printed magazines. It's weird. I I mean, that's the power of growing up as an iPad kid. You know what I'm saying? Mentoring on TV. People saying that they tried to swipe while reading a book and people saying that they were looking for comments to read while glancing through a magazine. I have also never done a single one of those things because mm. I can still distinguish between social media and live television. I can still distinguish the difference between a physical book and an iPhone. Back in my day when you could distinguish the difference between social media and online television and now we got these anime women and we got these YouTubers and these Twitch streamers doing all these things and kids can't tell the it's that it's giving that kind of vibes but I I get it I just I guess when you grow up on social media at a young age this stuff can ha I don't know like I've been on the internet since I was a kid too and I still never had this but then again I was also downloading music on LimeWire and it turned out that it was not music that I was downloading so I can't even believe I'm saying <laughs> Is this not concerning to anybody else? And the reason I say it's concerning is because there It's- I use TikTok so much it's burned into my screen. What? There are some people out there who never get off their phone and experience the world around them as TikTok's little icons are burning into the screen of their phones. That's not real, right? That- that can't actually happen, right? Melbourne and even when we had broken the record of a longest lockdown in the entire world in October of 2021 there was not a single day during that time period where I spent that long on my phone I don't understand like it I is that actually possible to happen how are people not ashamed of this Stop. No, there is there is no way they got that up on the television screens. That way kids can like sit there and study. What These the hell? sensory videos are made for babies, not seniors in their final year of high school who will most likely be entering their first year of college next year. Where there will be no sensory videos in their classes. I, I don't know, like, that would be really distracting for me. But then again, I was always good at, like, tuning out noise like that. And it's interesting because, like, a lot of people like to say that, oh, all this brain rot content, haha, I must have ADHD, I can't focus, and blah, 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 blah. But, like, I am one of those ADHDers where that kind of stuff is very distracting to me. And I think it's because I have sensory issues with my auditory, like, hearing stuff. And because of that, a lot of noises really bother me so i need to be in peace and quiet like I, it has to be more on the quieter side for me to be able to focus whereas some of my adhd friends they actually need background noise to focus so it's very fascinating 
there will also be no sensory videos within the workplace. I feel like the teacher is just doing more harm than good mm. by making these students dependent on these videos to focus. My question is like, what's the teaching strat for that? Like, what? it's not that different than like a teacher bringing in a television and making us watch a movie for the class. Like, it's really not that different in my honest opinion. So, mm. We've not needed this in any classrooms for decades. Because when I was in school, I never had this. And when my older sister was still in school, she never had this either. I'm telling you, you probably did have those days where you had a substitute teacher who would bring in like a movie for you all to watch. So like, I don't know why you're being on copium for this. Even my little brother is graduating high school this week and not once in his classes were those videos ever played in order for the class to focus. I mean, clearly that was just a bad teacher then. Like, I don't know. So is it just an American thing? Like, using brain-rotted internet slang, like... Wait a second. If your grade is 100 to 90% you're an alpha, 89 to 80% you're a sigma, 79 to 70% mid, 69% 60 beta, 59% to 50% you're cooked, 49% to 20% you're fried, and 19% to zero you get womp womp. You have now become a shy lily simp. Alpha, Sigma, Mid, Beta, Cooked, Fried, and Womp Womp is not a good thing. Womp because womp. it teaches these students to only want to pay attention if the learning reminds them of TikToks or the memes that they see on YouTube shorts. Okay, so I... There was a time when in school we would have to like play video games to learn. Like I, I think there were some websites called like Cool Maths and I think now... People have something called code.org where you're playing video games and you're learning through video games. So for a lot of children and like students, making things more relatable to them helps them learn. And unfortunately, some teachers take the approach of TikTok as a way to learn in memes. I don't know, call me a boomer if you want, but I just don't think that internet slang needs to be introduced into a learning environment. Those two things need to be kept separated. I can't be the only person on the planet that didn't know that you can just pick a piece of fruit off of a tree and eat it. I have a friend come Wait, what? What? Come over a few weeks ago and she was like, Carly, why do you have a bag of lemons in your fridge? And I said, oh, well, I use lemons in my cooking a lot and sometimes I put them in my sparkling water. And she was just like, no, but why do you have a bag of lemons from the store? And I said, oh, well, sometimes I cook with them and I also put them in. And she said, no, you have a lemon tree outside. And I said, okay. And she said, so why do you buy lemons? Wow, that's wow. You know, I have a couple of fruit trees outside and I do not eat any of those things. They are disgusting because um, unfortunately, my trees are infected with parasites. So, yeah, you can't be eating those kind of fruits like the pomegranate tree has these really bad parasites. The apple tree seems to be OK and healthy. I still wouldn't trust it though because i don't take care of those trees so yeah if you don't take care of the trees they can get infected with bugs and it's disgusting and you will get sick eating them and i said because i cook with them and, and she said carly you have a lemon tree you just pick the lemons off the tree and you put them in your food or, or in your sparkling water and i said don't you have to do something to them and she said what the only thing you have to do is check them for bugs and make sure your tree's not infected and maybe wash them do you mean? And I said, you don't have to do anything to the lemons. And she was pretty upset, but maybe I am one of the very few people that didn't know that there is nothing that you have to do to a lemon before you eat it from a tree. You can just take it off the tree. I, I genuinely have no words. Yes, to answer your question. Yes, you are literally the only person on this planet who didn't know that you could simply just pick fruit off of a tree and eat it. I have. Again, providing that it's not infected. So make sure if you have a fruit tree, take care of the fruit tree and don't be like me and let it get infected with parasites. Eating blackberries directly off of a bush by a lake. Oh my gosh, I remember when I was in Japan and I went to a peach farm and you could pick the peaches right off of like the trees. And oh my gosh, they were the juiciest 
biggest, plumpest like peaches I've ever had in my life. Oh my gosh, if you ever go to Japan, you have to go to a peach farm. You have to pick one of those suckers off of it and just take a bite and watch like the juices explode in your mouth. It is so freaking, mm, gosh, that was so good. And have been just fine. I go cherry picking on farms across Melbourne with my dad during the summertime, just before yeah. Christmas. And we eat them directly from the tree as well. And guess what happens? Absolutely nothing. Why? I mean, if you ever go to a farmer's market and you buy fruit, you're supposed to wash them after. You probably should wash them after you pick it off of a fruit tree too, because if there's pesticides on them or, you know, like it could be a little dirty, just you, you might, you might want to rinse them off first. Why? I don't know. Maybe because it comes from the exact same planet that we drink water and breathe oxygen from. How are some people just happily wasting their money like this? That's like owning a chicken coop, but continuing to buy eggs from the grocery store. And there are probably some people who do exactly that because you didn't know that you could eat eggs from your farm. Your food doesn't have to come from the grocery store in order for it to be safe to eat. And and also sometimes it's not even safe to eat when you buy from the grocery store. The amount of times I have bought produce from a grocery store and it was literally rotten. That like as I bought it, it was rotten. And because I didn't check it well enough, I didn't see the mold on it. So like, it's not safe to buy food from the grocery store sometimes like you have to check your food and you have to wash your food it's like some people don't and when i say wash by the way i'm not saying you literally put freaking soap on it i've seen some tiktoks where people literally take detergent and wash their chicken with it not realizing they're poisoning themselves by doing that even have a grasp on time anymore because somebody on tiktok posted a screenshot where somebody said Loving this new TikTok trend of 14 year olds thinking 1998 was actually the 1800s. Because the original TikTok said, Summer 1998, where sweets are baked, not bought. What? What are you talking about? Bro, how long ago do you think 1998 was? That is only 26 years. 26! Do you think that was the goddamn prehistoric stone age? I mean, I feel like it's not really an issue of like brain rot content so much, but more like people are just not teaching their kids stuff. Like schools are just not teaching them the right things. Like, sure, I, I guess like brain rot is making this more extreme, but like, you know, you, you could, I, mean, I guess it is up to like, the parents and just how you're raised and what environment you're in like unfortunately not everyone can get a good education and education's not universal like standards in different schools babe not only do people still bake in 2024 because it's not some lost forgotten archaic craft that's been lost <laughs> to time and not only was junk food available to buy on shelves just as much as it is now but people back in the 90s and early 2000s were experimenting with food just as much as we do today. Are we just gonna completely ignore that? Oh my gosh, Heinz ketchup. Oh gosh, that looks really disgusting. But still, that is so fascinating. Does anyone remember the Heinz E squirt ketchup? Were you a funny purple or a, 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 a greenie? Were you a greenie ketchup person? that you could very easily buy purple and green colored ketchup? Are you aware that you could buy crystal Pepsi, which literally looked like water, but was still soda? So I did not know you, I didn't know that crystal Pepsi came out in 1992. I thought that was a more recent thing. That's kind of fascinating. So how genuinely ignorant to time can you actually be? Something else that gives me the idea that people are genuinely losing track of time is people already making nostalgic kids these days videos over iPads because apparently we should be nostalgic over the fact that we used to give our literal DNA to open a goddamn tablet. I don't remember any of that. I, I literally, I never had an iPad until very recently because I like to use it for art um, and it's very portable. It also helps me play my Nick A laying down in bed. But uh, anyways, so I, I never had to do that with an iPad before. I guess I don't remember that, but I do remember the button. 
I remember the little button that Apple products would have and like, oh God, pushing that button. It felt so good. I loved pushing that button. This is the craziest video I have ever seen in my life because first of all, the first iPhone to be released without a home button was only six years ago in 2018. <laughs> How are you already saying kids these days over something that still happened? very recently because it's just a meme people are just posting and trolling and because people know that nostalgia content is very trendy they're just kind of getting ahead of the game of it already but secondly and most importantly why on god's green earth is this even a flex gen z we sound ridiculous do y'all seriously i don't know if this is is this gen z is this a gen z thing they want to dunk on gen alpha that bad that you have to use giving a billion dollar corporation access to your literal fingerprint in order to open their products? You're gonna say that's an accomplishment? You're gonna insinuate that they should be jealous of that? Are y'all seriously? I mean, how is it any different than TubeBuddy when TubeBuddy would ask you all these questions about like your address, your name, your like credit card information? Because TubeBuddy, if you don't know, was spyware. It was, oh gosh, we should, we should watch a video on TubeBuddy because like people were really proud about that too. So it's not that different from like the whole iPad fingerprinting thing. Like people just love to give away their information for free. Getting nostalgia over a time where you could literally give. I remember when I used to download viruses on LimeWire all the time thinking I was downloading music. A handheld device access to your bodily identification. We are cooked. Yeah. Yeah. Something that also just makes me- Ooh, what is that? Mm, like, what is, what is that? What is that purple goo? Is that detergent? I use the pods personally. I shake my head in disappointment is the fact that there's so many people in my generation who don't know how to work a washing machine to do their own laundry. Mm. I love it. And people on the internet make me feel smart. Are you stupid? Yes. But that's like, but I don't know. I feel like it's not hard to Google how to do something. But if you if you Google it and you end up on like one of those TikToks where they're clearly not doing it correctly, that could be very problematic. But like, I feel like it's just a meme. I don't think those people are being serious. I think they're trying to be like, haha, I was never taught how to do normal like home ec type of stuff because i i don't even know if home ec is still like a thing in school do people still teach home ec like is that still like classes that people do because I, I don't think anyone really teaches you how to cook and clean unless if your parents do my mom never did my mom never taught me how to cook i almost set my house on fire by putting a um a can of spaghettios in the microwave because my mom never taught me how to cook my mom was never home she was off dating boyfriends so like I didn't know how to cook and I almost set the house on fire and it was really scary. And like, even now I really struggle to cook. I, I look up recipes and I try to follow it as best as I can. But even still, I, I feel like my cooking is not like, it, it, it's okay. I'm not like the best cook, but I try, I try to look it up. I try to do, I, if I don't know how to do something, I try to look it up as best as I can. But yeah, no one ever taught me any of that stuff. And it's kind of sad. Were you never asked a single time to do chores while your parents were still at work? Can you not read? Are you too lazy to look for the instructions that are literally- To be fair though, these instructions are really hard to read, but like nowadays like instructions are printed multiple times throughout like packaging. Like I had just bought a humidifier for the Black Friday deal and literally I saw my packaging at least three times where to like put the water versus where to put like the vapor or like the incense and stuff like literally it was just three times and then like big letters and like arrows and stuff just to make sure i i put the stuff in correctly and i was just kind of looking at this like how many people have messed up this product and clearly there must have been a lot because these things don't exist for without a reason on the back of every single bottle because it literally tells you how to use it if we have gone to a point of laziness where we can't even use our phones to <laughs> Some of y'all view why shampoo as instructions, it's true. To look up information when that was the sole purpose of the iPhone's creation, then we are in trouble. 
We are done for. I was not expecting this. It will draw any picture for you. There are hundreds of cards to choose from. You put it in, it draws it for you. My kids play with it okay. for hours and then color. Not gonna lie, I kind of want one of these. I like this. This this does things to my brain. I like it. Lord, if you can hear me. <laughs> Lord, if you can hear me. No, I don't think I'm going to encourage my child to learn how to draw by themselves. I think I'm gonna get a robot to do it for them so that I don't have to do anything and my child doesn't have to do anything either. Hey, so doesn't that literally- I don't know. I don't know if that's like the case of it. Like you can still teach. I don't know. I, I don't get it. I, I think that's a bit of a stretch. Sound like a plot of a Black Mirror episode? <laughs> it kind of does. No, just me. These pictures aren't even difficult to draw in the slightest. You don't need any skill whatsoever. It's a few lines and some goddamn circles. And the fact that some people would rather pay- But it says drawing robot education toys. So like, if it's supposed to teach you how to draw, I mean, make your kid draw after it, it gets taught that. Like, I, I don't- Unless if like the kid's just like, yeah, I'm just not gonna do- This is- Oh man. It, it's $129, so that's crazy. A $130 goddamn dollars of their hard-earned money rather than just letting the child learn how to draw a bee by themselves is actual insanity. The best artists of our generation never needed anything like this to become the best. So I mean, there's AI art now, so we've all seen like how many kids use AI art and they're like, I'm so proud of the art that I made, but it's AI, so they didn't actually make any art. <laughs> Why should we need it now? I was today years old when I realized that the kid- That is cringe to say. I was today years old. Oh my God, I'm going to say that from now on. I, I'm going to use that phrase all the time, and my friends are going to hate me for this. Say it after your followers is in reference to the metric system. Because 1K, also known as a kilo, is a thousand of whatever the unit is. Did anybody else know this? Can't believe I just figured that out. My mind is blown. Did you guys know that the M in 1M actually means something? It means million! Oh! How could you only now just be discovering this? A literal uh, fifth grader could have explained that to you. I'm hoping they could anyway. One of my married uh, friends told me that when you get married, your husband or your wife or whoever you're marrying, when you get married, your partner actually becomes your immediate family. Did you guys? Wait, what? Huh? Becomes your immediate family. I... Wait, what the hell is this talking about? That is so like, my head hurts now. Snow and one of my friends told me this. If you spill water on your counter and you use paper towel to wipe it up, the paper towel actually becomes wet and dries the bench for you. What gets wetter as it dries? A towel. your immediate family what else could they possibly be to you you i mean to some people it's considered property which is really evil but you know like that that there are people out there who think that we'll have children with this person oh my god you know how in the middle of the pandemic we had limits on toilet paper can we do that with microphones please <laughs> please and can we make people have to pass some sort of test in order to start their own podcast because mm. I literally can't take it anymore. Then this one is low-key just kind of crypt. Wait, what the hell? Man, this thing always be sticky. The, the syrup? How did you put it in the sink? What kind of question is this? Wait, what? What? What kind of question is this? I don't understand. Dick, because someone on TikTok uploaded a picture of themselves rinsing their maple syrup in the sink and somebody commented, how did you put it in the sink? <sighs> what is that even supposed to mean? What? I don't know. Maybe they're high or something. They're either a kid or they're super stoned. That's the only thing I could think of that could potentially make a comment like that. Do you need a picking up and putting down tutorial? Um, yes, sometimes people actually do because there is this special thing where people can't imagine things in their head and so they have to physically see it. Well, you, you grasp an item with your hand, open it like this and close it around said item, lift it up 
and place said item on a surface, preferably a flat surface. Was that easy to follow or should I slow down for you? That, that was way too difficult. You need to do that again for me, please. Especially the fist grabbing part. Sorry to be cutting in. Uh, I'm sat here with a hot cup of water editing my video and I see this TikTok. Now, this is serious. As a med student, what LMAO? Just found out men don't have waists and that's why they wear belts. Otherwise their pants would fall down. And now I just feel like I've discovered the most random lore that further separates the human experience between men and women. What? This was not a joke. This is not satire. This girl genuinely believes that men wear belts because they don't have waists. What the hell? Oh my god, no way. Have you ever looked at a man? Me neither. Yeah. <laughs> You can't make this up. You can't make this up. Um, you know that- <laughs> What the fuck? Oh my god. Picture of Peter Griffin where he's just legs. Yeah, that's- That's what they would look like if they didn't have a waist. What are you talking about? Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I- I just- Wow, that is insane to think about. Um, I honestly don't even know what to think anymore. My head hurts. Let me know what your thoughts were down in the comments down below. Is your brain melting like mine is right now? Remember, everybody, if you even can remember at this point, everything will remind you of something. Bye! I was today years old when I- <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. Thank you so much for watching.